Hi, this is Alvin with Kickstart Commerce, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, GoDaddy's Workspace email to schedule your email sends. And so, I know one of the first questions is why would you likely want to schedule an email send? So, um, since I do um, domain auctions, so I basically create domain auction lists every day of different platforms that expire. And so a lot of times what I'll do, let's take for instance, um, this is one of my lists that I put out. And within the list, I will basically have domain names that are expiring that I think are of value. So for instance, this Cedar Rapids Fitness. So a lot of times what will happen is I will go to Google and I will basically um, search for uh, Cedar Cedar Rapids Fitness and essentially what I what I'm looking for are companies that are based around um, Cedar Rapids Fitness and so I'll type that in and basically go through here and a lot of times since it's an auction I'll do this the night before um, and I'll go through and I'll pick companies like this Northland Fitness Group um, you know, custom fitness, CR, and a lot of times I'll go for page two and three results because th these are the companies that likely, um, like for instance, this cedar dash rapids dot orange theory fitness dot com, they would benefit from having the domain name cedar uh, rapids fitness dot com. So I'll go through and if I can find an email contact for them, I'll find like a handful of names probably 10 emails at most and then I will send an email to them uh, you know using my GoDaddy workspace email but like I said I do this the night before the auction so I'm talking like 10 30 11 o'clock at night that I'm doing this research coming up with the names and so once I find the names of the email then what I do is I head into workspace um, email here and one of the things that you want to make sure of is click on display settings and make sure that your setting um, are to the to the correct time zone um, I believe by default since GoDaddy is out of Arizona then um, most of the workspace emails time zones are set to uh, Arizona by default so go in and change that once you Go to change once you have that changed to the correct. Um, once you have it changed to the correct time zone, then what you'll want to do is, and we're just going to create a message here, and I'm just going to copy myself. Um, work space. Send. So this is where I would basically typically type in domain auctions ending um, and if it's a specific email, I mean domain name, then I will type the domain name. So I would put Cedar Park Fitness uh, dash domain auction ending and then the um, tomorrow's date and then the time that it ends so that then within the email and, and what I typically also do. So I'll put all of the contacts that I have which is basically nothing more than 10. And the reason why you don't only use a handful of emails, you don't want to use more um, than 10 emails. Don't treat it like a, a newsletter where you're sending out hundreds or even, I would probably even say, don't even try to not to go over 25. What will happen is GoDaddy will basically suspend your service and then you will likely have to buy or purchase um, more relays and so just take it from me from experience of just going hey get you 10 different emails for a domain name that you're looking for or whatever you're doing I'm using the domain name um, as an example here but put the emails in the two and so you would have more than one email put all those emails there put your message in we're just gonna put this is a test and then to schedule the SIN, you'll want to click the email um, envelope with the little clock on it. You'll want to select that 
and then you can see my my time is central uh, time and we're going to set this to send at 10 5 p.m. and then once you hit OK then just wait because it will it will send and you'll see here on the left hand side it puts it in the send later uh, folder now the send later folder will appear here as long as it has a message that is scheduled to be sent now this message is likely not going to send at least for I believe probably two to three more minutes um, but that being said what happens is when you click the send later you can always tell that this message is actually going to be sent because everything is bold if it's not bold then it is not going to send and so you need to make sure that this message is always bold so if you go back in and make some edits this that the other if you save those changes you want to always make sure that this entire line everything is bold again if it's not bold then it's not going to send once it sends though then this folder as long as it doesn't have anything else in it to be sent um, at a you know at a scheduled time at a scheduled day and time then the send will actually dip under here um, under this line that send folder will and then you'll be able to see that your message was basically in the sent box and so we have roughly about another minute or so and uh, what we'll do is just wait for it to to send and once we once it sends it will appear because I copied myself on the email it will appear here in the inbox and so um, I, I love using this because I, like I said, I when I send my emails out, typically I send them out between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Um, and that's you know if I'm sending to the to the West Coast, I'll send it then you know um, Pacific Standard Time. If I'm sending Midwest or Central Standard Time or Eastern Time, I try to send within the the hours of 7 and 9 a.m. Typically. Um, I've had good success um, either 15 minutes after the hour or before the hour ends in terms of using GoDaddy's um, scheduling message and sending messages out um, to possible domain buyers or those who participate, um, you know, in domain auctions or just, you know, daily inquiries, daily domain inquiries. And so... With that being said, let's go and check and see if it has sent. It hadn't sent as of yet, so we'll just give it a, another couple of seconds here. Um, so that being said, I I, uh, I love using the service. It makes my life a lot easier so that I don't have to get up and try to craft together an email, try to send it all real time. I can take my time the night before, um, schedule the email, and then, you know, basically uh, go to bed, wait for the responses the next day, or rather go and schedule, um, you know, others within that next day. So now we can see that it did send. It is here in the uh, mailbox. So if we look, we see it was to info at Kickstart Commerce. This is a test. And then that folder so I guess that for I guess I was incorrect there that folder did not dip under um, that line it basically just removed that there was one cent but if we look into the send box you'll see that your message is there so it keeps track of that history so that being said I hope that this tutorial helps you uh, figure out um, how to how to use GoDaddy's scheduled um, email delivery system. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment below. Also, feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com uh, for more search marketing as well as domain investing um, information. And so, like I said, drop me a comment below should you have questions or comments. Thanks, and see you around on the next tutorial.